Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is Breaking Burke. This is my YouTube channel about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. In today's video, I this is my second go about it. I tried to record showing you what happened to a plant that I tried to give more sun. Now the reason I tried to give this plant a little more sun is because it is supposed to be an imperial red philodendron. Now most of my experience is with landscaping and outdoor plants. In that case, like this plant here, you can see it has a nice dark color. There towards the base, it does have a little bit of green because I didn't get as much sun. But the more sun you give them, the darker they get. That's a hardy hibiscus. This is a ipomea, a sweet potato vine. And same thing with this. The more sun you give it, the darker it gets. You can see the stem there where it doesn't get much sun is actually green. So I figured why not try with this plant? It's a red colored philodendron. Apparently they don't blush in the way outdoor plants do. Outdoor plants, the more sun you give it, the darker and more intense the colors are. Uh, with this, I know I could have done research and just went off of what people say, but you know, everyone has their own experiences. So I bought a couple extra and I put one in the window. It's been there for about two months now. Uh, I did have to chop it up because it got quite leggy. You can see here's all the dry crispiness that I took off of it just now. I got a couple wet sticks out of it. Here is what's left of the roots and you can see on the side there, there's that little uh, red shoot. That'll be a new branch so I could have five plants out of this one that I let get a little too leggy. Now this top one, I'll pull out of water just to show you. Oh, and that one's trying to run off on us. You can see it has uh, some dimpling in the leaf there. I think uh, the sun was drying it out too much and it wasn't enough humidity. All the leaves have a little bit of ugliness and uh, imperfections to them. Now, my theory is it was too much sun, drying it out too fast, and that's what happened. Now, in order to get nice big pretty leaves on philodendrons and indoor houseplants, we know we need humidity. And if the sun's taking all the moisture, there goes your humidity. There's another nice leaf cutting. Let me see if I can isolate that so you can see it. See, there's a nice couple nodes on there. So hopefully we'll get something out of here. But I just wanted to show you guys, uh, for anyone who is new to houseplants or had the same mindset that I did that you know, it works for the outdoor plants, and the more sun, the darker, more intense colors. No. Bad idea. Uh, you can see it did dry it out severely. It did leave the leaves misshapen and, quite honest, an ugly color that it shouldn't be because the mother plant or the other one that I have, so much prettier. Let me actually grab one so I can show you what something that isn't beat to heck looks like. You'll see that big pretty leaf, another big pretty leaf. That one, see I did the same thing and I had it in a sunspot and it started to dimple. So that's why I said no, it's happening in two of them. I can't let that happen. But this one has a lot more attractive foliage all around. The color is a little more intense. You can see on the stalk there, that really is red. Not like the pink of the one behind it. See them next to each other. A bit more intense. So. By doing what I thought would help intensify the colors, I actually did the opposite and made them dull out. So make sure you pay attention to your plants. If you're new to it, you might have to move it around a couple times. It's no big deal. Uh, you do want to do what's best for them. Now, this is, wasn't all that bad because I do get more propagations, maybe something to share with you guys. but. I did just want to share this information that way in case you guys have the same notion that, you know, I'll put it in the sun. No, it needs bright, indirect light, so not touching it, especially for an extended period of time. This was in the sun in my window for four to five hours with direct uh, sun on the leaves. Did grow kind of fast, but it looks funky and the colors are off, so it wasn't worth it. Thank you for watching and have a great day. I hope this helps.